Eve marks the Lunar New Year, also referred uh, to as the Chinese New Year. And there's a group of musician, musicians visiting schools and retirement communities across Tampa Bay to entertain and educate. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd with their story. The pounding of the taiko, also known as the drums, filled the Tampa theater with rhythm and mystique as hundreds of school children slapped and clapped to the beat. Well, nobody has gone uh, a day without hearing percussion. We, before we're born, we have uh, the heartbeat of our mother that we hear. Ron Collins is the founder of Tampa Tyco. But believe it or not, it didn't start on a stage, but rather in the stands of a soccer game. The Tampa Bay Mutiny, and they had this huge stadium without many fans, and we filled that stadium up with a lot of noise with horns and voices and a lot of big, big drums. The mutiny eventually folded in 2001, so Collins took his drums on the road. And we tell them about the history and some of the traditions, uh, but basically it's an excuse to uh, uh, have big blowout. For hundreds of years, they've used the taiko drum to celebrate the change of the seasons. This isn't just a show, it's a form of martial arts, and Ron is the sensei and especially on the field of battle. They would send messages with the drums. They would intimidate the enemy. Julian is one of Ron's longest running students, not only helping to write the music, but also build the drums using old wine barrels. It's really cool to go from fan to on stage and looking out and seeing the same person that I was, because now I can inspire somebody else and they'll say, wow, there was that guy with the funny hair, and he was just really, really good, and then he let me hit the gong afterwards. <laughs> Among the schools in attendance was Roland Park Magnet. And in my classroom, we focus a lot on world music, music from other cultures, respecting other cultures, seeing their traditions. Matsuri Zaiko! Following the beat of my own drum, in Tampa, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News. Happening tomorrow.